Hello people from the future, welcome to Normalize Nerd. Today I'm going to talk about Kaggle, yes, the largest data science competition platform on the internet. I will be mentioning why you should actually start participating in the Kaggle competitions and how you can actually get started with your very first Kaggle challenge. Before starting, if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. I post videos about machine learning and creative coding regularly. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, the Kaggle is the biggest data science competition platform on the internet right now. Now, uh, first of all, what is a data science competition? If you haven't participated in any of them previously, then it is probably a new thing for you. And I'm going to explain you. Well, in these competitions, you are given a large data set and uh, you have to make your uh, AI model and you have to uh, either make a classification model or a regression model or sometimes a detection model uh, you will submit your predictions to the website it will judge them by some hidden uh, inputs and uh, it will score your submission now if you can score a good accuracy uh, or a less error then obviously your rank will be in the lower range and if your accuracy is not that much then you will obviously get a rank that will be on the larger side okay so this is the uh, basic structure of these challenges now uh, who actually post the data in Kaggle well uh, there are uh, a couple of ways that you can get data uh, the first one being big companies actually uh, make public their data sets and if you can uh, make a AI model or ML model that can help them to uh, increase suppose sales or uh, revenues or productions then they may actually take your solution and they may actually use them uh, in their products. On the other hand data sets can come from uh, open sources and can even come from some scientific researches. For example, there was a challenge in Kaggle uh, which uh, was providing the data from CERN. Yes, the Large Hydrogen Collider data and uh, there you were to make machine learning models to, pre to predict the complex behavior of subatomic particles. Uh, there uh, recently there was a challenge about uh, finding the interaction between ma the magnetic interaction between two molecules also so you can see that in Kaggle uh, the data can come from various sources and you have to just uh, give your best to use that data and your data science skills to make a model that can be useful on the data and can predict or classify something important so uh, why should actually you start participating in these challenges well there are actually a lot of reasons why you should do that i will cover all of them one by one so the first reason is you will learn a lot by participating in the challenges why because uh, in kaggle there is a concept of uh, kernels or notebooks uh, where the uh, great data scientists actually participate in the challenges and they post their code yes their original code uh, in the kernels and if you can just go through their code uh, you will get to learn a lot I myself have learned a lot of new things from their notebooks so uh, first point was you will get to learn a lot about data science and recent advancements in data science especially you will get to learn how to think like a actual data scientist now let me come to the second point uh, you can actually get noticed by the AI community uh, in the sense if you can uh, write really good kernels or come up with really good insights about a data set then uh, people will follow you and you may eventually get noticed by some recruiters also now comes the third point uh, you can use the Kaggle datasets obviously after reading the license carefully uh, on your personal projects. Yes, suppose you are uh, going to do a final year project and on AI and you don't have that amount of data. But uh, then Kaggle, Kaggle can offer you a lot of dataset on your topic. So keep an eye on them if you are really looking for a final year project.
Now here comes the last point. Uh, just like Google Colab, Kaggle also provides free GPU and if you just want to train your personal model, you can actually use their GPU. Obviously, you need to first upload the dataset to Kaggle and then you can uh, train your model on the dataset on their cloud. So I think that's a great thing to do. I think Kaggle now offers you a nine hour continuous access to their cloud without any interruption. So you should definitely go check that out. I hope that you are feeling really excited by now about starting Kaggle competitions. And now I'm going to show you how you can actually get started with it. Well, I'm going to uh, show you one of the co codes of a competition that I participated uh, a few months ago. So the competition is called uh, movie box office collection prediction. So what we need to do here is that we are given the movie data set over uh, 7000 movies I guess and you just need to predict the box office collection of the movies based on several attributes. So uh, first of all if in any Kaggle competition if you want to participate uh, let me just show you with this one first. Suppose you want to participate in this Kaggle competition then what you need to do you need to first click here and you just need to uh, say that yes I understand and accept and after that you just need to go to the data portion and you can actually access the data from here and you can see what kinds of files are there and uh, if you want to make your own submission uh, you can make uh, your submission from here but uh, before that you probably should write your code on Kaggle and uh, here the concept of notebook I was talking about uh, many people actually have posted their notebook about this competition and some of them are really good and uh, from your work you can actually start your own notebook you can, uh, Kaggle actually gives you two options about the notebook settings one is a plain Jupyter notebook type thing and the other one is a Python script type thing and even in that Jupyter thing and Python thing there are uh, options for dark mode and light mode so it's according to you and obviously there is recently another option for non Python users they can use R also so that is how you can actually create your own notebook and a Kaggle also provides two options on the submission of your kernels. You can actually make your kernel public or private. I don't really need to explain those, right? So let me jump into the competition I was talking about, the movie box office prediction. So uh, what I did here, these are first some basic libraries that I had to import. And you can actually access the Kaggle data by this lines don't worry about this lines because uh, when you will gonna open a new kernel a new notebook uh, you will see these things already mentioned there so uh, this is the directory where your uh, test and train sets will be and after that you can just uh, make them data frames that you probably gonna do so uh, these are just basic uh, data cleaning things and yes th uh, this thing is actually a little bit interesting uh, in this data set there were a couple of mistakes and I had to correct them well uh, actually there were a lot of good kernels about the correction so I just copied the code from their kernels so this was a correction the codes and these are some just again data cleanings uh, introducing some new features here deriving some features again you can actually do all the plots on the Kaggle and uh, it's very nice to show them in a kernel actually it's very nice for beginners to 
and to get into the visualization thing because as i mentioned earlier that people do post their best works here and you can upload their works and you can learn a lot from them Uh, again some visualizations are here uh, let me just go to the actual code section where I made my model it was an XGBoost model so uh, yeah these are my features and then I just uh, simply trained a XGBoost model actually I didn't go for the grid search because I wasn't really focused on the competition at the time so I just uh, did a basic program and made my submission and uh, here comes another important portion is that uh, you have to submit your predictions in a definite format that they have provided and uh, it will probably be something like the sample submission dot CSV thing you just need to uh, make a data frame out of it and just fill the column that they asked you to fill and after that you can actually download your submission and then uh, then you can upload it from your local computer well they do provide a way to upload your submission directly from Kaggle but I recommend you to just follow this step and download the CSV file from Kaggle to your computer and then upload it in that way you can actually save your CSV file in your computer also so that you can refer to this solution later so uh, this code is actually I found online and it is very good piece of code because it just gives you a way to download the file to your computer by generating a HTML download link just see here that this is a hyperlink and if I just click it it will just download this thing obviously after running the whole kernel and uh, you can see below that people will comment on your kernels if your kernel is really good and uh, I think by doing kaggling you can actually learn a lot about the community you will get to know the community better and you will actually gonna contribute to the community and you will actually get to spread your knowledge so I really think you are excited about Kaggle and you will start Kaggling soon so if you like the video then please subscribe to my channel click the bell icon and thanks for watching